Welcome to our tutorial about the navigation wheel or steering wheel. The last tool on the navigation toolbar is the steering wheel. If you hold down this arrow, you get a few options here. I'm going to select the full navigation wheel. Now when I move the mouse around, the navigation wheel follows. I don't need to hold down the left mouse button for that to happen. Now when I hover over one of the swatches on the navigation wheel, a help tooltip appears. Right now I'm on the orbit swatch and just left click to rotate the view. If I press down the control button, I'm able to reposition the pivot point. Just let go of the control button to accept your new pivot point. We can rotate our view. Again, let's press down the control key and reposition our pivot point. Let go of the control key and we have a new pivot point. To exit the orbit command, release the left mouse button and we're taken back to the navigation wheel. On top is the zoom tool. Let's left click and now we can zoom in and out. Keep your left mouse button held down. Let's take a look at pan on the bottom. A left click lets us pan along the screen. The center swatch lets us position the center. Left click and hold. When the pivot point appears, you can release the left mouse button and you have a new center. Let's do it again. Center, left click and hold it down. Position the pivot point and release your left mouse button to accept. We're taken back to the navigation wheel. Let's take a look at the look option, which lets you look around your current position. Once again, hold the left mouse button down. A tooltip appears. Left click and now I can move the mouse up and down and left and right. I can also use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Let's check another tool. Let's try up down. Left click, hold down the left mouse button, and notice as I move the mouse, the mouse continually moves up to down or down to up. A top to bottom scale appears to guide our movements. Release the mouse button back to the wheel. Let's take a look at the walk command. We're able to walk or move around our model. We can use the arrow keys or we can press and hold down the plus key to increase the speed as you see here. You need to be careful with the plus key, otherwise the model will scroll off your screen. If you press down and hold the shift key while you're in walk mode, you have up and down movement. And let's release the left mouse button to get back to the navigation wheel. Click this arrow in the bottom right corner. This gives us a drop down menu from which we can select a number of options. Let's try one of the basic wheels. Here we've only got four tools, center, zoom, rewind, and orbit. Let's right click on the wheel again. And let's take a look at the mini full navigation wheel. This is basically a small version of the full wheel that we worked with previously. It's got pie wedge tools. Right click. Let's restore the full navigation wheel. Now let's right click and scroll to steering wheel settings. We've got a number of options here. We can adjust the wheel size, the opacity. Let's go back to 50%. As well, we can adjust the mini wheel size and the mini wheel opacity. We can choose to show tool messages and tool tips. On the right side, we can adjust the walk speed. We can also adjust the walk speed from the drop down menu as well. As you see here, it's 2.3. Let's click OK, right click on the wheel again, and scroll to increase walk speed. Now let's go back to settings, and as you see, our walk speed did update to 2.9. Cancel out. If your model runs off the screen, just right click and select Go Home. Now you've got an isometric view. It's basically the same option when you press the Home icon on the view cube. Let's take a top view. 
To exit the navigation wheel, just click the X on the top right, or you can press Escape on your keyboard. This concludes our lesson about the navigation wheel.